Okay, let's let's talk about the importance of situational awareness. Now, situational awareness is probably one of the most important skills that you can have. Now, I say it's a skill because there's a lot of people that just have no situational awareness whatsoever by any means at all. And it blows my mind how these people have even a driver's license being unaware of their surroundings, being unaware of what's going on around them. And that is what situational awareness is, is being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what is going on around you. So for a massive example on situational awareness, is doing what I'm doing right now. Driving. Especially driving what I'm driving, you really need to have a heightened situational awareness. So, you need to see what is going on around you. You need to see if, or ask yourself, is traffic way up ahead of me slowing down? Am I going faster than the traffic around me? And anticipating the people around you, what they're going to do next. That is good situational awareness. Situational awareness while driving is looking before you leap using your freaking mirrors, for example. But that's only one kind of that's only like one case of situational awareness which is driving, but it's a really good case of it because there's a lot of people that don't have any situational awareness while they're driving. Another one is hunting. You know, if you're going to be hunting, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take my Mosin into the woods and shoot a deer. That's, that's not everything. That's not all that it is. But you need to have situational awareness of how much noise am I making? What can my prey, like, can my prey hear me? What are, you know, will they anticipate what I'm going to do? You know, what can, you know, you have to anticipate what other creatures around you are sensing, doing, what they're thinking, what they, what their next move is going to be. That's all all part of the whole situational awareness uh, thing, you know, you gotta, you know, in a way, it's kind of like thinking outside of yourself. It's anticipating what, you know, what their next move is going to be. Is that car going to jump out in front of me? Is does that person, you know, across the way pose a threat? Is, is he carrying a knife? Is he mentally unstable? It's knowing where the exits are when you go into a restaurant or store. It's seeing a plume of smoke in the distance, realizing what kind of terrain is between you and that smoke in which way the wind is blowing, knowing or having the idea or thought in your head, hey, is that has, does that fire have the potential to get out of control? Does that fire, which potentially could get out of control, could possibly potentially blow in my direction, causing my area to catch on fire? That is part of having situational awareness. You know, it's knowing how far the nearest water source to you is. It's knowing what kind of wildlife is in your area. That is all a form of situational awareness. It's all being aware 
of your surroundings is being aware of the weather and it's what the weather patterns is being aware of everything that's going on around you you know locally or even internationally you know situational awareness it is extraordinarily important it's po it's possibly one of the biggest skills that you should have. What the hell is this guy doing? I have my cruise control set. Uh, being aware of what that guy is doing. My left. In the background that you can see. You know, it's knowing whether or not if you're in a physical altercation, a combative altercation, it's knowing does your does the guy or your enemy have a weapon? What you know, what can they do? What are they capable of? That's all part of being situationally aware. And you know, it, it's the fact that some people don't have it, it it, it just blows my mind. And you, you know, you, you know when somebody doesn't have situational awareness when you talk to them. You can tell just the way they talk, the way they are. You know, if you don't have good situational awareness, how can you know if there is a fire burning, you know, 15, 20 miles away that potentially has the ability to affect you? How could you possibly know if, let's say, there is a possible hurricane? Because, you know, paying attention and understanding the news, what is going on, is also a form of situational awareness. But you have to actually process this information. You know, you can't just blindly listen to something and not actually take any of it in and say, oh yeah, I listen to the news or I, I'm aware of what's going on. No, you actually have to be aware of what is going on. Because if you're not aware of what's going on, how could you possibly be prepared for anything 